going on y'all so um the title of the video that um, i just listened to was the problem with approaching more to improve your dating life um now they go over exactly that um and the reason i even clicked it in the first place is because i i have i also i've always seen this flaw and simply saying good just go out more just go out more just go out more because i heard that a lot especially when i would listen to like you know riley when he would you know debate the old guy or zero would debate the old guy and it he would always just go outside more and you that is such an extreme flaw uh, we're going to, i'm going to do the whole video even though the main focus is the video they viewed up front but i'm going to do the whole thing um but before then my specific view on this about the whole simply go out more is that here so here's one of my examples to i guess segue me into it um so let's take incels for example i love taking incels for example even your fat incel guy can get laid if he goes to you know any social event but let's use specifically in this case for sake of conversation a bar right he's all he goes to a bar every single night without fail rather is even during the week after work or whatever he goes to a bar every single night without fail in a cal in a ca calendar because people hate when i say calendar when the calendar year he can get it laid at least once at least once but here's the issue with that the idea that there is no mountain high enough or valley low enough or river wide enough it is absolutely just just insane to even think about there is something that that, that, that is the whole you know the saying juice is juice is not worth the squeeze that can be accurate rather no matter how much you don't get juice i i i refuse to accept this idea that you must have plenty of juice in front of you in order to say well i don't really give a damn no you can absolutely say despite the fact that juice to me is very rare at this point because humans know how to adapt that's kind of a part of being a human can say ah fuck it ah whatever the juice talks a lot of shit anyway ain't for me the juice doesn't like me and i don't listen listen people say you can't say that as a man i don't know why you can't I don't know why you can't say, listen, women don't really like me, so I'll just go and do whatever else, whatever my hobby is, whether it's, you know, video games, photography, what the fuck ever. Hell, if you like to literally just get up and have to get off work, just literally just sit on the person that goes out. I don't give a fuck what it is. If you decide, and this goes to women too, if you decide that the opposite sex is just not for you because of what it takes for you to get what it is, you find at minimum acceptable for what it is you have to do for that other side in your life that to me is perfectly fine but let's go ahead and get into this uh video the dating advice for gurus online seems to boil down to just be successful, bro. Given that women rate 80% of men as physically unattractive and 50% of men are below average intelligence, what's the advice for those 40% of men? The bar is set unbelievably low. Like the average American man is obese, divorced, and with less than 1K in the bank. I think that the internet over indexes on objective metrics of success and doesn't. Okay, so here's the problem with what he just said. I, I, I hear this all the time. The bar for men is so low, bro. Like. No, 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 no. The bar, it really, it literally, it kind of depends on what that woman wants from that guy. That the bar moves depending on what she wants from that guy. Obviously, because if you want something different, you're going to have a different bar. You're going to have different, whatever the fuck, right? If she wants just to have get her rocks off or scratch her itches, I hear on Kendra G show so much, or women have knees. All she's going to uh, desire from that guy is to be somewhat of attractive, attractive enough to just fuck on a regular and uh, well to have sex with and then to do it on a regular be good enough at least. Right. Right. So you want to call that a low bar because mm, what exactly is the attraction she's going to take unless you have some sort of in order for it to for, to looks to not be something has to be maximized something right meaning either looks game experience 
which maybe me personality, whatever, money. Something has to be at an elite level for you to be there. So is that itself a low bar? No. Have you seen what dudes do to main, even if they're genetically gifted with height and all that? Do you understand what they typically do in the gym to get in shape? And if they don't, don't have that, but instead they have like game slash experience provided. Do you know the skill level it takes? Do you, it takes for all this stuff to just be able to casually have sex. Do you understand the upfront skill, time dedication, practice that has to be put in place for this to be a possibility? Stop saying that that's a low bar. That's not a fucking low bar. That takes a damn quite a bit. That takes a damn quite a bit. Stop calling this low bar. Stop it. That is not a low bar. Now, if she's um, going for the whole um, long-term thing, relationships last marriage. Well, first of all, you have to look at today's society. What are the chances she actually sees it as a long-term investment? Because in today's society, people in general, but specifically in this case, women, they understand that marriage or relationships with children is not a end-all be-all. If she feels like, fuck it, I'll just leave. If it gets too bad, how the fuck do you view that as a long-term investment? She literally addresses it as a temporary thing. So what bar really is there? If there's always a, I will, nigga, I will take this pussy away from you. I will take whatever else I give you, whether if she cooks on a regular, if uh, the, maybe the kids t- type of situation, whatever it is. If that is always a threat to be removed from you, so you must perform, on what planet can you call that a low bar? On what planet can you call that a fucking low bar? Oh, 1,000 in the bank. You still got to perform month to month to month to month, right? Minimally. Not to mention per day. You know, often I see if you text your woman throughout the day, call her throughout the day. The pe- like I, I've seen that 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 tweet or or somebody say it on podcast so much. If you just show her so much more attention throughout the day when you get home, then it the sex will happen or she'll be this into this and blah blah blah. First of all, that's a lie. That all these date nights that is a cherry on top for the guy she's already like super into. Which, if she's lucky enough to, to get that, then that's just that that's the case. But need be, and she marries a guy who is just ah, this is the best. This is what I get. I guess I don't like this shit. I'll fuck somebody else when he's not looking. But if this is what I get. Remember why? So ah, I guess texting her throughout the day and calling her throughout the day. The panties aren't going to fall off when you get home. Because if that was the case, then literally, dude could just text text her throughout the day and then sexist marriages wouldn't exist are you really do you really want to tell men that if they simply text their wife throughout the day panties will fall off because you do understand that the way the the male mind works that when he gets home after you know texting throughout the day and she's like "Hmm, oh hi honey i'm watching tv and then panties aren't falling so what, what the fuck i texted well, immediately now you're in a goalpost moving situation because goalpost moving situation because you now are going to say, well, what did you text her? How did you text her? Did you, are you, are you funny? Are you this? Are you, are you, are you? Meaning, do you have that skill that I said about the guy for casual sex? Knowing that that's not why she married this guy. I really hate this fucking low bar, bare minimum conversation. Because it's used as a crutch for people like this and women to go, huh, well, this is why you just don't get what you want. Stop, stop it. Stop it. You do not hold a low. If you had such a fucking low bar, incels would not exist if the bar was that fucking low as y'all try to make it out to be account for what happens in person you will see regularly people and guys that are charismatic funny sexy in person batting way outside of their league if you were to just look at them from an online perspective basically i would say don't overthink what the internet says okay so he just basically if 
I know I, 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 I pause at a weird spot, but if you understand what he just, if you can put together what he just said, you would get that. Do not take online dating as far as like, you know, your picture profile, whatever, because if you look at real life, those guys are betting way out of their league. Dude, what the fuck are you looking at? I, I really want to know. What are you looking at? Because I don't regularly see dudes who are ugly than a motherfucker, fat as hell, short as fuck, broke as fuck, just getting getting baddies or just chicks that are way out of their league. I don't see that on a regular. I don't. When you see a guy who's like, I don't know, he kind of chubby, ain't he? Well, he's, he's fat and ugly. How he get? You see his car. When you see a guy who's batting out of his league, it's too, he, he's 6'5". A dude who's batting out of his league. Got charisma, insanely out of his fuck. Like, it is insane. It, it is, again, elite level in some area for him to get something, excuse me, out of his league. If you are correct, so the guy who their video they're watching, I forget his name, I think his name is like Chris Williams or something. If Chris Williams would be, again, if I'm correct, if Chris Williams is accurate, then I, I guess you'd see what the actually what the fuck is this point? Because he's saying that you would regularly see guys might not have batting out of the league, but that would mean that he thinks guy he doesn't think guys are regularly batting out of the league. So what the fuck is he trying to say? Let's rewind that. Hold up. Think that the internet over indexes on objective metrics of success and doesn't account for what happens in person. You will see regularly people and guys that are charismatic, funny, sexy in person batting way outside of their league. If you were to just look at them from an online perspective, basically I would say don't overthink what the internet says. Dude, if you go to the gym three times a week for a year, you're probably in the top percentile of all fitness people on the planet. If you spend three... That is false. I and a few guys I see at the gym regularly go three plus times a week. We're off at the specific guys I'm talking about. We're off at, and it's quite a few of us. It's like, stop it. Like, come on. Come on. You see, you, people can go to the gym regularly, but still have a fucked up diet. I eat meat. So you might want to reword that, Chris, because that's, that's hella wrong. 300 bucks on a relatively okay wardrobe you're probably better dressed than most of the guys that you're going to walk past just if you spend 300 dollars on a outfit um first of all guys who don't know how to dress spending 300 dollars, he's either going to overthink it like you tell him not to and like get a suit and it's like well how often are you going to wear this fucking suit for your daily life or he's going to do what a lot of guys do, at least in my demographic, and go and spend, get like some retarded denim jeans for $350. How insane is that? And how much is that likely to land you a, a, a prospect of a woman? Like how, seriously? And how many times, is it just one outfit? How many times do you want to spend $300 on an outfit? How many times, huh? And then this even proves how insane this quote unquote dating market is. How often do you want to spend $300 on an outfit versus, hi, wouldn't you rather just put this into like a mortgage or something? But no, we need to do this over and over again in clothing so that we can get attention, so, we can, so that we can get attraction. But then also, once that happens, to still have enough money to, okay, now we can provide from the money that we've been spending but also keep up the date nights and good looks for like do you see how insane that is that's fucking stupid and impractical as hell try a bit and you will already be probably a six or a seven out of ten i'm curious what do you think about this do you think guys need to try harder because i put this one in here because we've been we've been joking about this the whole yeah. show which is like <laughs> well it seems to me like a lot of the people who are very anti-red pill right now yeah. on online are just saying well the the solution to this is to just get out there just go out and put yourself out there go sure. out and approach more go go talk to girls live go uh clean yourself up you know take a shower get a 300 hundred dollar wardrobe uh go out there and make an effort which by the way ironically is exactly what pickup artists have been saying since oh i don't know the mid 2000s 
thousands. Yeah. So uh, suddenly all all this anti red pill stuff comes full circle, and now we're back to where we were. But I wanted to point this out, and I wanted to put, pose the question to you guys: Is do you think that guys just need to actually get out there and make approaches and try harder, and that would in Here's one flaw that I really dislike about people who take this position of the guy at the video we just watched is that the guys who have quit or all but quit dating and relationships only got here because of what they heard online like that's it right i actually got into a back and forth with somebody in a comment section that's too all right we're still recording my bad i had to swat a bee off of me and then fucking hit my phone but anyway the idea that you can only get here via the internet and again i got into a a back and forth with somebody on youtube in the comment section that oh well podcasts are the reasons young men are quitting because they don't go it's like stop it stop it do you understand that the, the, it, it if you want to talk about internet you definitely can't just put on podcasts because ever since Twitter, Facebook, and all that shit came out, women have been talking on mad shit. And I've said this in plenty of videos. You have been literally telling guys that if they not getting laid, it's because women just don't like them. And then when you see the patterns, when you see just, just everything that people go through, you, you come to an understanding of, okay, if she ain't giving it up, in the you know soon you're that guy who just kind of has to sit and wait until eventually she gives you a well i i i, I guess i guess i'll let you fuck nigga like damn you 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 here i guess you're you're trying i guess meanwhile while you're dating she still got friends benefits going on like you see the pattern you hear the pattern and you apply it to real life and you come to an understanding that th you need to operate like this. Either you quit or you, like, to use myself as an example, do what I'm doing, which if rather if you want a relationship, cool. But we're going to have a, a we're going to get there in the, in a, the non dating way. We're, we're, it's going to be very upfront. Write it down. Put it. What do you want? OK, I can or can't do that. Do, would you like to move forward? Plain and simple. Not why well, I have to take you on a bunch of dates to kind of just hope and see and hope you choose me out of all. No. So it is this idea that, oh, you just started get, sitting at home and that's what happened. Just cut the shit. Stop it. Now, if you want to say as time goes on, younger and younger generations are going to start not even trying, that argument I can't eat, that I can't fight. That one I can't. Now, if you want to say that's what Gen Z is, Gen Z is, at, all of them are in high school. All of them. And that's where a lot of dating starts. Do you think that they have an understanding in person with, you know, being in school and all, that they can kind of match what they see online and what they see in person in the lunchroom? Who the girls sit next to? Who the girls treat nicely? Who the girls, you know, give attention to and all that. Do you think that they possibly could do that and aren't just sitting at home? All right. Way, I guess, ameliorate the 40 percent of guys who are actually, you know, still single and sexless. Do you think that they, is it better for them to do something like that? Is that the cure or is it? Now, listen to what he said, single and sexless. I've said several times that a lot of incels are married. I don't know what, per what percentage of them, but a lot of incels are married. So this idea that all incels are just losers who live in their mom's basement, cut the shit. A lot of them are your co-workers who don't get no coochie at home. Go to the gym and just stay in the gym or gross out in, in any of like money, muscles and game. Gross out in one of those and hope to God that that's going to be what gets you the girl. I think you just got to get out there. Um, like any of my guy friends who have ever asked me for advice on how to get girls, I'm like, create like a girlfriend group to touch like back on what you were talking about with like the strip club managers like they're surrounded by beautiful women all the time so they're a little bit desensitized so i think when you go out there and you make friends that are women friends that you have platonically that are hot you know what i mean yeah. you can interact with them and like a friend 
I am getting sick of this quote unquote idea that men should do, right? Because you don't want that guy to literally just be your friend and then that's it. That dude, that male still has to be of some value to you even as your friend. Why are we, stop, stop trying to lie to it. Stop it. Stop trying to lie. That's not how that works. It's not he just befriend. First of all, to befriend you, he still has to have this a, a, a decent enough personality that if he can literally just go get get a girlfriend. Like seriously, unless he's again just just a tool for you to use. Otherwise, couldn't he just go get a girlfriend? Explain to me how a guy could just get multiple hot female friends, but not able to bag any of them. Oh my God, do you see how ridiculous this logic is? Anyway, then when like somebody comes up, like, cause women will let you know when they're into you. They're not shy mm -hmm. about it. Like they'll come up, they'll say something saucy to you and then they'll run away giggling like a little girl. <laughs> you know women what I mean? who are into you will not confuse you. Exactly, yeah. you know what I mean? So I think just like going out and like having more interactions, it's kind of like the numbers game, you know what I mean? Like if you interact with a hundred women, you, uh, what's the percentage of like, say like only 5% of the women you talk to um, will actually want to have sex with you. Like we're, I'm just throwing out random ass numbers here. There's like nothing backing this. Mm -hmm. But if that is the percentage of women that want to sleep with you, if you talk to a hundred women, then you have five women that want to sleep with you versus if you talk to 10 women, you might have zero. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like a bell curve, just going out there, being social, interacting, learning. Here's the issue with what she's saying about increasing your chances. The more you talk to, the less you, the less time, energy, and effort you put into any single one, right? And as she said that earlier, just minutes ago, well, it's actually seconds ago, is that you are not confused to a woman being attracted to you. So why would you increase the amount of women you talk, you speak to, as opposed as to kind of being around and quote unquote being yourself and seeing what woman puts herself in your face. Do, do you see how all this advice is straight shit? This is trash. But yet she's saying you should seek more women out like her to get advice. When she's literally telling you advice that contradicts itself. If, if you do it mathematically. Women won't confuse you when they're attracted to you. But you should increase the numbers which takes away from the time you give to any single one. Meaning you could miss the woman who, like, do you see how retarded this is? Healthy, positive interactions. I think that that's what. So, so this is a discussion that happens all the time. And, and Destiny was the one who talked about this. Yeah. If you just go out more, you're more likely to have more sex. And, and I yeah. don't disagree with that concept, but I disagree to the level, to the level to which that counts against like say having status or being good looking being wealthy having charisma having pre-selection mate choice copying other you know people finding you attractive all these other different things having high status and the reality is let's just take two different people we'll take uh harvey who lives in uh, new york he's an, an attorney like harvey specter Spectre. right right he's an attorney who lives in new york and he makes two million dollars a year and he's really good looking and then larry the larry the cable guy he lives in the fucking trailer park okay larry and harvey may both have five sexual partners in a year but Harvey is going to have way more attractive sexual partners than Larry is. And that's where the. OK, he's going to explain this like pretty much immediately. But I got to say, dude, listen, uh, th th this is kind of stupid at this point. Once you start making this point, you have five sexual partners in 12 months. But are they attractive? Nigga, th it, it, is, th is it that big a deal? Is it really that big a deal? If you can't get attractive partners, why does the volume matter? Why does the volume matter? And if you can't, can only get one, a, like one woman you find attractive to sleep with, I'm kind of questioning if it's only one. Maybe generally unattractive women is kind of your realm. Like maybe that's just what, that's what you get. And then when he explains afterwards, I still don't understand this, like, but like, constantly increase the tr pe people, humans, I need to get over this shit. You kind of, as a, for the most part, you get what you get. For the most part, you get what you get. Oh my God, stop. Please stop. This is where it gets really stupid. 
really stupid. It's the same shit I criticize when I watch these fucking dating shows and women be like, not on my level. Not on my, bitch, you don't get that level. You don't. You just don't. You people in this val- like value, quality, or quantity, get over yourself. You don't get the quality you want. Get over it. Get the fuck over it. Or be by yourself. Like, this is, this is stupid differences where the difference is is like you you haven't got w- women solved out you have not got your women problem solved if you keep having sex with women that you don't find attractive because you're drunk enough to like fucking let it go it's funny tyler's smiling i don't know why it's you haven't got women solved <laughs> because you because you got the because you got that thing uh, because you're having sex with women you don't find attractive you have women solved when you are having sex with women you do find attractive and in order to do those things it's not just go out more yeah. in order to yeah. do those things you have to improve which is a function of status and women choosing men who have higher levels of status is hypergamy for those of you who have a question about that because hypergamy is real no matter what anyone tries to tell you you define that for me hypergamy it means alpha flex beta bucks uh, hypergamy in the oxford (laughs) definition it has to do with women choosing men who are at a higher socioeconomic education and income level that's what it means but we hear the that's the the, expanded definition that's the denotative version of it the connotative from the rational male has to do with everything from height all these different type of things sex Uh, arousal attraction yes so it's I well, we, sim- we simplify it as alpha fucks beta bucks or alpha seed beta need meaning that the women have two they have a dualistic mating strategy which is they're looking for a, a guy who has protection provisioning and parental investment the good guy the guy that's good, you, the good dad right the guy who's going to be there for the long the long term the guy you want to marry and the guy you want to fuck the guy who's the uh, the alpha who's the bad boy we were just talking about this just not too long ago there's the fuck boy there's the guy who's you know we've got to run through all these guys in my whole face from 18 to 28 until we get to uh where suddenly we're uh found the right guy miraculously in a soulmate on whatever podcast and she's talking about how she had to run through all these guys before she got to the guy that she's not really all that into because they weren't as exciting as that guy but that's the dual side of it so there's the alpha side the, the arousal the 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 visceral i want to fuck this guy versus the guy who who is he's a good dude still still very you know still attractive to him but he's he's not as exciting as the other guy because he's better he's a better bet for the long term being provisioning protection and parental investment so there's an the alpha side and there's a beta side of that and either one of those not I, I hate it when we put these things into good and bad they're not good and bad it's just two different qualities there's a guy who's the dad and there's a guy who's the cat that's what i keep getting into and that's what people keep trying to redefine and go back to reinventing the fucking wheel over and over and over again and i want want to point this out also when we're talking about getting out there and like say hey just go out like just like destiny or whatever this moronic idea that all you have to do is just walk out your door and you're just going to bump into oh 10 or 12 women who just want to fuck you the guy the fat guy that was yes. in that video just a little while ago you're not going to tell that guy just go out the door and just try yes. your best bro no you got to be better before you go the, out the, there the context yeah. that is missing mm-hmm. is that you will another thing that i like to add to this and i probably should let it play but um, I don't care who you, what skill you pick up with it, all that stuff. And I'm not saying don't try to improve your, your, your chances or whatever. But you really got to understand who and what you are. If you're the kind of person, or in this particular case, guy, who literally just kind of wants a, you know, simpler life that, you know, is, even if you don't want to use this word, it's kind of repetitive. And, and you know, it's... it's pretty stable which by default is repetitive you gotta understand that you're going to be beta books by default i don't give a fuck what you do you can live all the ways you want you can learn all the game you're going to be uh, beta bucks like that, that full stop now if you do whatever you want with that but this let's get out of get this out of your head that you you're going to change like what category you fall into mm. You might be able to pick up more women who who will be willing to do the alpha fucks with you, but I don't think it's very high. I, it's, just, it's when you look at how things work out. Just I don't think so. Will sleep with more women, right? You will just not be attracted to them, or they will like. In my twenties, I, I called it an eighty percent solution. I could always meet girls that were eighty percent of what I wanted, and then later, it wasn't until like you know when I got out of the military till I was with women who were one hundred percent of what I wanted. So that that was the difference. Now, okay, so yeah, I mean, put in the comment section what you kind of 
think or whatever. And um, yeah, be right. I'm positive. I'm out.